Hi, my name is Ye Hung Chen. I'm with the University of California, San Francisco, Global Health Sciences. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create statistical weights for time location sampling data, or TLS data. This video is part of a series on analyzing behavioral surveillance data from surveys that use time location sampling, or respondent-driven sampling. To start, you'll need to have an event-level data set and an individual-level data set. You'll also need the statistical analysis software Stata installed on your computer. For this example, we'll be using a fake data set representing a sample from a population of men who have sex with men. To start, it's a good idea to change the working directory in Stata so you don't have to type out the location of your files. To do this, choose File, select Change Working Directory, and then browse for the folder where your data files are located. Next, we want to load the event level data set. Type in sheet using and then the name of the event level data set, which in this case is events.csv. Stata gives a confirmation showing that the data were loaded, and we see that there are five columns and 15 rows. Now let's take a look at the data. Type browse. Each row in this data set represents a unique event. So you see that we have 15 rows and thus 15 unique events. The weighting scheme we'll be using in this example requires the following two variables, counted, which is the number of people counted at each event, and the variable interviewed, which is the number of people interviewed at each event. The three zeros appearing under the interviewed column shows that there are three events at which nobody was interviewed. It's a good idea to drop these events from the data set. To do this, we'll close the browse window and then type drop if interviewed equals equals zero. The dialog here just confirms that three rows were dropped from the data. Now we're ready to generate the weights. Type generate and then an arbitrary name for the weights variable. We'll just use weights and then equal sign counted divided by sum of counted divided by interviewed divided by sum of interviewed. To make sure that the weights were generated correctly, type browse. You see on the far right that the weights were in fact generated correctly. Now that we've generated the weights, let's save the updated data set. So let's close the browse window and then type save events.dta. Next, we want to load the individual level data set so that we can merge in the events weights which we just created. Type in sheet using and then the name of the individual level data set, which in this case is individuals.csv, and comma clear since we still have the event level database open. This data output confirms that the data were loaded. Let's type browse to take a quick look at the data. Each row in this individual level data set represents an individual who was sampled. If you scroll down to the very bottom, you'll see that there are 63 rows, or 63 individuals. Two important variables to look at are the second and third columns here, venue and event. These show the venues and events at which each individual was sampled from. It'll be easier to merge the two data sets if the event variables in the two data sets have the same name. In this example, the event variable in each data set is called event. Okay, let's close the browse window. Now we're going to merge in the event level data set. Type merge, then m21, the name of the variable we're merging on, which in this example is event, using, and then the name of the event level data set, which in this example is events.dta. This data output here shows that the merge was successful. You see under the row not matched that there are no individuals for whom the merge was not successful. Okay, let's type browse to make sure everything looks okay. And we scroll to the right and we see that in fact there is now a weights variable in the individual level data set. Okay, let's close that and finally just save the updated individual level data set. So we'll type save individuals.dta and that's it. That concludes the lesson on how to create statistical weights for time location sampling analysis. The next video will explain how to obtain univariate estimates from TLS data. Thanks for watching.